Sculpture, particularly public sculpture, has an artistic presence unlike any other art form. Its three-dimensionality means that it is unknowable all at one time, and that gives it a sort of aliveness, because in that aspect, it is like us. The Monument to a Century of Flight, a brainchild of Glenn Ure, located atop a hill in Kitty Hawk, North Carolina, overlooking the Atlantic Ocean, is a history of the first hundred years of aviation, taking off from the first powered flight of the Wright brothers, man's first successful attempt to slip the surly bonds of Earth, as poet John McGee put it. Convinced that the 60 by 75 feet structure portrayed in his initial prototype was possible and an appropriate legacy for the 2003 centennial of that first flight, which occurred minutes or seconds as the crow or stealth flies to the monument's location, he sought out sculptors Hannah and Jody Gibran, who brought acclaimed sculptural minds and hands to the project. The resulting sculpture is a collaborative effort of this artistic trio. With appropriate consultation with nature herself on environmental aesthetics, what could be a man-made intrusion becomes instead a transformation and integration of natural elements set into the natural negative, which is space itself. It puts its base or bases down in that space and says something profound about us, often something historical, sometimes interpretive or introspective. 14 stainless steel pylons, wing foil shaped and arranged in an orbital pattern, compose the monument's essential structure. Starting at 10 feet in height, the pylons begin ascending midway in the orbit, symbolizing man's journey to the moon and his continuing quest, and culminate in a 20 foot high 14th pylon, directing our view toward the future and those who will pioneer its new worlds. Language and images inscribed in black granite panels affixed to the faces of the pylons detail 100 significant events in aviation in its first century. And a center bronze dome depicts continents of the Earth joined in a new proximity. Inside the orbit, some 5,000 engraved granite and brick pavers speak eloquently of a community brought together by one man's vision to build a monument. The Monument to a Century of Flight was dedicated on November 8, 2003 as an enduring legacy to the history and beauty and mysteries of flight and to the soaring of the human spirit. Its brick groupings are hallowed homes for extraordinary and disappearing flying defenders of our liberty, like the voodoo surveillance pilots or the Navy enlisted pilots. From groupings like that for airline attendants lost in service, to individual sponsored bricks like the one inscribed, Oh, to be with Mary for a hundred years, the monument celebrates the good in what we have aspired to and in what we remember. Every inscribed brick is a story. A time capsule placed at the monument to be opened in the year 2103 ensures the legacy. Among its objects and messages from now to people a century away is a letter from Glenn Ure. It reads in part, The late 20th and early 21st centuries were exciting times to be alive. Don't believe everything history tells you about us. Listen to the legends told in paintings and the poetry as well. You'll find us somewhere in the middle of it all. Join us as we celebrate the 10th anniversary of the Monument to a Century of Flight, located at the Acock Brown Welcome Center, Milepost 1, Kitty Hawk, North Carolina.